Well, you know what? It's always theater. It's always the theater roles I like the best. Like when I'm doing scene study stuff. And it always comes down to like when I get the scenes, I'm always afraid and I'm always afraid that I'm not going to be able to do it. And those are the ones I end up loving in the end only after I end up performing them though. So the whole way up to doing the scene analysis and prepping it and everything, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, this is stupid. Why am I doing this? And then it finally comes to performance and it's amazing. I like putting on a stupid accent and like stupid clothes and stuff and messing around, but that's a little easier for me because I can just goof off. But like when you're playing something closer to you, um, it's always trying to tap into your more natural. As long as you have a decent representation, it doesn't matter. Like as long as your agents in that middle ground or above, you can make it work. And I mean, there's a lot of actors I know with agencies I've never heard of and they're booking big feature films. And I mean, so it, it really doesn't. It's like, it's like, what's your product? What are you delivering? Are people interested? Is that lining up with the roles? End of story. My advice to myself then and still now is to just be patient and persistent. Just do what you want to do, but don't, you know, a lot of people feel pressured that they have to go do a lot of different things. Like, I have to go network and I have to do this and that and that and that and that. And I'm more of the philosophy of do what you want to do. Don't, if you're not enjoying doing this thing, if you don't want to do that, don't do it. It doesn't like, it's going to work out in the end. It always works out in the end if you trust it. But I'm always just like, do what you want to do because then you'll be passionate about doing it. And that's when you're going to grow and that's when you're going to learn. I did prosthetics and orthotics before this, right? And that was so easy for me. It came so organically to me. All my natural skills sets aligned with that profession. I felt like I wasn't challenged anymore. So the beautiful thing about acting is the challenge of it all. So I just like the idea that you'll never master it. There's always going to be a new role that you have to unravel and you're back to square one, kind of, sort of. But I just like the difficulty in taking someone else's words and trying to get to the core of it and really make it organically pop out as your own. There's so many layers to it, too. You know that. I mean, so many layers to it. And it's just like that, that never ending aspiration for like that great performance. And you see it back and you're like, oh. you're like, you missed it. You missed that moment and that. And I was like, oh. and then you're like, next time I want to do it again so I can get it next time. Yeah. That's what gets me. I'm always wanting to get that perfect, like perfect. <laughs>